project proposals are a vital part of your freelance workflow because you cannot just send the price to your client and hope for the best you have to explain your price what's included in the price what's not included in the price deliverables time frame when we are going to start when we are going to end so that's why project proposals are important and that's why we're going to talk about them in today's video Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we get started with today's video, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for all of my YouTube tutorials as well as live streams and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, links are going to be down in the description below. So the first resource for this video is from Creative Market. It says how to write a design proposal, the ultimate guide. And before we move on any further, links to everything I mentioned are going to be down in the description below. Make sure to check them out for easy access. Just click on the link to open them up in new tab. So as I said, Creative Market, how to write a design proposal, the ultimate guide. So step one, talk to your prospective client to find out uh, what they want and then according to that do a lot of research use the right software or tool structure your proposal sensibly and then you can see all of these uh, products which you can purchase from creative market which of course is a shop website you can purchase these templates and then adapt them to your needs they work in indesign they work in adobe illustrator some of them work in photoshop some of them work in adobe xd you have word templates and here on the left hand side on the top left you have all of these steps so if i go right back to here how to write a design proposal the ultimate guide make sure to check it out i will leave the link down in the description below next up we have ebuckdesign.com how to write a design proposal basically same story like the previous article just in their own words what is a design proposal why clients ask for proposals how to send a proposal what clients want to see and how to build a proposal of course all of these uh, all of this information is in this article make sure to read it it's uh, packed with a bunch of good information so I highly recommend that you read it and there are of course some templates here and there Next up, we have Panda Doc graphic designer proposal template, but of course you can adjust it to UI UX design. You can use this template for free and you can see what it includes. There is a cover letter, executive summary, assessment, our team, portfolio, process, fees and finances, pricing and terms. There is a typo right here, but don't mind that. So you can see all sorts of different templates right here. It's important, it's free, you can check it out and you can take a pro too because PandaDoc is actually a tool who created this template in the background and there are a bunch of these different templates on their website. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out, pandadoc.com. I will leave the link down in the description below. Next up, we have pitch.com templates. This is the design proposal template and you can use this template and it's a huge template. You can see how it looks like right here. You can click use this template. And basically, if I click through some of these images, you can see table of contents. So a quote, motivation quote, the problem, how you identify the problem and what is the solution. Of course, you are the solution as a designer. There we go. We have some more quotes, future of branding. There we go. There we go. So you can swift through all of these. Personally, it's not my favorite template, but it's free. So you can check it out. You can test it out. Pitch.com. If you're interested, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And finally, we have my template, which is UI UX design proposal, project proposal made in Adobe XD. It's a premium, but I'm going to give you a huge discount. The link is going to be down in the description below with that discount. So if you're interested, you can check it out. Basically, what it is, is it's a four page document, Adobe XD document, and you have project name and introduction, project details, project pricing, terms and conditions and about me at the end. This is how it looks like when it's printed. You can, of course, print it out if you see your clients in real life. But if you don't, you can use the PDF template. And finally, and most crucially, I made a full video all about it. Here I am watching myself on YouTube. But basically, this is the video. I think it's something like 15 minutes long or something like that. You can open it up on YouTube right here and you can access it. So basically, this is the UI UX design project proposal template. 
I use it personally all the time with my clients and it works. Uh, over the years I used it a bunch of times and I also have a bunch of sales with people telling me how awesome it is because I just listened to the feedback of the design community, of the designers who are purchasing my courses and my digital design products and also what worked for me, what didn't work for me and the information my, require, uh, my clients require. So there you go, UI UX design project proposal, I will leave the huge discount in the description below, make sure to check it out if you're interested. So there we go, that's it for today's video. I really hope you find some of these resources useful, especially the last one. Once again, links are going to be down in the description below for all of them. And for the last one, which is my template, you're going to get a huge discount, so make sure to check it out as well. Leave a like on this video if you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you didn't. I upload new videos every single week all about UI UX design, passive income techniques, Adobe XD, and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching this one and until next time, take care.